Hi there. Today we're going to learn how to create the peeling sticker text effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. We're going to start by creating a 21 centimeter by 14 centimeter document in landscape mode. Even if you want to create an A4 or letter sized document in landscape, it shouldn't really be a problem because the texture that I'm using in this illustration is large. So it should fit in. Also, ensure that the color mode is set to RGB and hit create. So this is our white background and now we'll need a texture to be placed on top of it. So let's go to file and then open and locate the image from the computer. All right, now that we have our texture here, let's click hold and drag it to the white artboard we created a few seconds ago. All right, we have our texture on the white artboard now, but we still need to resize it. In fact, let's zoom out a bit so that you're able to see how big this texture is and how much we need to drag in. So to do that, let's go to edit and then free transform. The shortcut to get it is a command T on a Mac or control T on a PC. Now we know how big the texture is. You see, this is why I mentioned earlier that even the A4 or letter sized document should be fine for this illustration. Let's resize it to fit perfectly to the size of our white background using one of the corner handles. Perfect. Also, if you want to practice along, I'm going to share a link in the description from where you can download this texture. Now I'm going to select the text tool and change my font to alpha slab one. You don't necessarily need to use this font, just use any font that is thick enough and it should do. I'll be dropping a link in the description for you to download this font as well. So should you want to practice along exactly the way I'm doing it, go ahead and download the font as well. Now I'm going to select the size of the font to 96 points and uh, type in papaya. Don't ask me why I chose this name. I don't even fancy this fruit. Anyway, let's center align it. You'll be notified with these pink horizontal and vertical lines that it is center aligned. I think we need to slightly increase the character spacing. So let's go to window and select paragraph from here. And from the pop up window, select the character tab and increase the character spacing to 25. I think that should do the job. This is much better now. And since we won't need this panel anymore, at least in this tutorial, let's just close it. Next, we need to add a stroke around the text. So with the text layer selected, go to the FX option at the bottom of the layers panel and select stroke from there. From the pop up window, ensure that the size is set to 65 pixels, position is outside and blend mode is normal and pick a color of your choice. This yellowish tone is fine for me because of the word papaya. So I'm going to go with it and hit OK. Let's also rename our texture layer to texture to shed any confusions later because we'll be adding more layers soon. And then right click on it and convert it to smart object to make it non destructive. And similarly, select the text layer and you can even convert layers to smart object from filter options. So just select convert for smart filters and your job is done. A pop up notification will appear. So just hit OK and your layer will be converted to a smart object. Now we rotate the sticker a bit for it to look a little displaced. Uh, have the text layer selected and go to edit and click on free transform and hover your cursor to the top right corner of the sticker and gently move it as illustrated. And then click on the tick on top or just hit return. With the text layer selected, let's select the polygonal lasso tool and uh, make a triangle as illustrated. This is the piece that we're going to flip to create the peeling effect. 
Once the triangle is made, you should see the marching ants triangle. Now right click on it and select the layer via cut option. And the moment you do that, another layer is created in the layers panel. Just rename it to fold or any other name of your choice. Now go to edit, transform and uh, click on flip horizontal and you shall find the piece flipped but we still need to place it properly so using one of the corners move the piece to align the flat portion of the piece to the flat portion of the sticker as illustrated after you will have placed it it should look something like this next with the fold layer selected right click and go to blending options and from the pop-up click on color overlay on the left ensure that the blend mode is set to normal and blend color is set to white and opacity is set to 100 percent and hit ok now right click on the fold layer once again and go to blending options and this time go to satin tab on the left ensure that your blend mode is set to multiply blend color is set to black opacity is set to 50 percent angle is set to 47 distance to be 117 pixels and size to 142 pixels and click on the contour to ensure it is set to linear and hit ok you should find that the peeled portion now starts to look much like in the stickers now with the papaya layer selected right click and go to blending options and from the pop-up menu go to gradient overlay tab on the left have the blend mode set to screen and opacity to 45 percent scale to 65 or 66 percent and then double click on the gradient to reveal the gradient editor here we need to create a shine on the sticker using black and white gradient colors so let's double click on the extreme right slider and select black as the color. Similarly, you'll have to add white sliders in between as illustrated and using the slider and the color controller match the effects I'm making here. So you see once I'm done starting from the right, I have black color and then a controller and then I have a white slider for the shine and then there are two black tabs and then another white tab for another shining streak and then eventually it stops at the black slider try to match your settings like this or something similar to this and you shall get the right effect and then hit ok next we need a drop shadow to make it feel that the sticker is coming off from the sides as well so with the papaya layer selected go to the fx panel and uh, click on drop shadow Ensure that your blend mode is set to multiply and blend color is set to black. Opacity to 48%. Angle to 90 degrees with global light option ticked. Distance to 3 pixels. Spread to 27 pixels. And size to 9 pixels. And then double click on contour to set it to linear and then hit OK. Next, go to the fold layer and right click and go to blending options. And from the pop up menu, click on the drop shadow tab on the left. Now, adjust the blending mode to multiply and blend color to black, opacity to 30%, distance to 8 pixels, spread to 0, size to 24 pixels, and hit OK. You should see how with every step, our design is developing and getting better. Next, go to the magic wand tool and click on the texture anywhere to select it. And then go to select and click on inverse. At this point, you should find only the flipped sticker is selected. Now create a new layer by clicking on the create a new layer button at the bottom of the layers panel and then select the brush ensure that it's a soft brush around 80 pixels should do the job 
and also select a light gray color or you can just add the color 8D, 8D and 8D. So 8D, 8D, 8D three times to the color panel and it will select the right gray brush for you and hit OK. Now zoom into the flipped portion and carefully brush around the edges of the flipped sticker to make it look believable. Once it's done, click on the create a new layer button once again and drag this new layer between the fold and papaya layer. With this new layer selected, change the blending mode to multiply and then go to select and then inverse. Now use the brush tool and change the brush color to a lighter gray or just add the color code C7, C5, C1 to the color panel and hit OK. Perhaps we'll have to make the brush size smaller a bit, I think about 55 pixels should be fine and then add a drop shadow to the fold. Please ensure not to overdo it. Next click on the create a new layer button once again and drag the new layer between the papaya layer and the texture layer and rename it shading. With this layer selected change the blending mode to multiply. Next grab the brush tool once again and we'll need a slightly bigger brush, perhaps 80 pixels would do. And uh, change the brush color to C4, D1, C1, which is a very light color matching the tone of the texture. Now paint the bottom edge of the sticker to create a shadow, because we always need to take into account the believability factor. One last thing to do is to select all these layers using the shift key or even the command or control key and then right click and merge layers so that the layers panel doesn't look so busy and untidy. And our appealing sticker effect is ready. What do you think about this guys? Do let me know in the comments section. All right guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned something new from it. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet on Sunday, goodbye and thanks for watching.